Welcome to the next sub YouTube channel and today I'm going to be unboxing the ladder case. Now what is the ladder case? So Lou from Unbox Therapy, basically a popular YouTuber in the tech industry who have over 16 million followers. He decided to make his own phone case. He said, look, I've been looking for a phone case for my phone and I didn't quite find the case that I'm looking for that worked for my phone. So I'm going to partner with a company to make my own case. Now this case is actually getting some controversy because of the back and forth that's going between him and Pika, who is a company who make a case very similar to the case that he uh, create. But I'm actually going to start and unbox this case, take a look at it and give you my thoughts on it. So I will say this uh, from the time that I actually put in my order, I got my case very, very uh, quick. So, you know, kudos there. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. All right. So once you get the case open or the box open, this was all come in the, in the box. Has a nice little uh, cleaning call and just a simple box with the case in there. And as you can see, it's kind of more of a minimalistic case. Uh, it's not going to do a lot of, as far as protecting if he was to have a lot of drops, but it will provide some protection. I currently have this case by Spigen. So take a look and see how it look on my Pixel 4 XL. And, you know, this is a nice little minimalistic case. I actually do kind of, uh, this would be more something I would have if I was to work at the house or if I worked in an office environment and I wasn't really concerned about dropping my phone. I could see this being something that's, you know, pretty decent. Let me uh, wipe my phone down with the, actually, I'm going to save this for when I'm giving a phone away. Or case away. This is not a bad little case. So, here are my thoughts on the overall quote, controversy in this case and all this stuff. Now, let me kind of give you some background. So, my nine to five, I'm an aircraft mechanic. And, you know, for me, having a case on my phone is very important because, you know, I do use my phone for work. And here are uh, some examples of when I needed to use my phone. So I'm going out, I'm actually uh, trying to get a part number, a serial number off of a, a component. You know, there are times we'll get a card where it says, hey, we need you guys to go out there and verify that this part number, and serial number is on the airplane, and we need you to record that down. So you'll go out there, and before you normally just, you know, go out there, you write on a piece of paper. But, you know, um, when you work in a line environment, especially if you're doing what is called routine, uh, routine overnight maintenance, which means you're working overnight. So you go out there, the weather's bad, you're trying to use a piece of paper and pen and jot that stuff down, and you slam it in your pocket. By the time you get in the office, you finally get everything off, you unwrap the paper, and you notice that everything you wrote down is pretty much, you know, um, the pen done bled through and washed away, and you can't even read what you, what you wrote, and now you're going back out there in the same conditions, whether it be rain, snow, whatever, to try to do that again. So... This is where something like having a phone uh, would be very beneficial because I can break out the phone, take a good picture of it, throw it back in my pocket. Now when I finally get inside the office, take everything off, I can break out the phone, take a look at it, boom, done. Put everything on the paperwork, verify the part number, serial number is on the aircraft or no, this is the actual part number, serial number on the aircraft, let's update our records. So, you know, having protection on our phones for those that are in a uh, an environment that requires it, makes perfect sense now this case right here is 40 bucks and this i think is another thing that people have an issue with it's the price they're like 40 bucks for a case you know you can go on amazon you can pick up a spigot and you can pick up some off-brand case that will provide more protection for a cheaper price and i get that i really do i respect where you're coming from but someone who feel that and i'm not even going to argue against that but if someone is making a case from start especially someone that small you know who don't have a lot as far as being able to have a lot of inventory, it's going to cost money because of the simple fact that, you know, 
you're not trying to take a big loss here. You're, you're trying to actually at least recoup what you put into it. So I understand why for him it's going to cost him more to sell it because it cost him more to make it versus someone like Spigen who, you know, been around for a while and they can afford to have all the stuff in place and, and they can afford to sell their cases for a much cheaper price. You know, for me personally, I respect the man hustle. I respect the fact that the guy is actually going out there and he is trying to make his own case and is trying to do something to further his brand. And I respect that a lot, you know. Um, and if this is something that you feel like it's not for you, don't pick it up. But hey, man, if you like it, jump on it. And I feel like it's in the tech industry, man. You know, I'm all for, you know, seeing someone going out there trying to make something of themselves and trying to do more with it. And, you know, that's not a bad idea to come up with your own brand. And that's actually something that for me that I've been trying to do with, you know, my YouTube, my channel, my website, and everything like that. Not so much have a case, but trying to build my own brand because that's something that is very important. You know, you go out there and we spend money on and advertise other people's brands, whether it be Nike, whether it be um, this company, that company. There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, to be able to advertise and, and promote your own brand, you know, that right there is really, I think, what is the, the spirit of the American dream or that of just commerce in general is going out there and, as they say, bet on yourself. And I respect the fact that he's willing to bet on himself. And I, personally, I have no beef with him. And, you know, if you're someone who's like, hey, yo, you know, I'm not trying to spend that type of money on the case, respect it. You know, don't. But for those who may like it, I think this is a pretty decent case. It's more minimalistic. You know, will I be rocking this on a daily basis? No, I mean, I, I, I can't actually use this in my environment because it won't provide the protection I need. You know, for someone like me, I'll probably lean more towards an out of box. You know, if I'm outside and now in my current job, you know, um, I don't quite need as much protection, but I still want more protection than this would provide. So this case would not work for me. Now, if he started making cases that are very similar to kind of the speaking where it covers everything like this, then, yeah, I probably would jump on board. But he said he's making a case that's going to work for him. And that's what he went for. So, you know. This is something that, for me, you know, I'll probably lean more towards a speaking or something that's, that's going to cover my phone. And at the same time, I have no beef with this case. I think it's a decent case. And, you know, if you're someone who, like him, who won a case that's more minimalistic and you want a chance to get this case, hey, you know, I'm going to give it away because I know I'm not going to really use it on the daily. I'm going to go back to going to put my speaking case on there and going with that. So, hey. Go on to the next up dot com and I will have like a little giveaway and I'll come up with some way where you can have a chance to just pick this case up.